Hello, I am called in the NYE, the son of the wonderful. Um, we are on a march again today. We are going to be discussing about uh, raising a bond for the infrastructure development, the infrastructural development, especially the building of uh, city roads in Anambra State, raising of bond and uh, other financial uh, partnership to build all the city roads in Anambra State, especially the cities of Onicha, Oka, Newe, or even Ekulobia. If we can do that, it will uh, help so much. So before we do, remember to like, remember to comment, remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to um, do the needful, and uh, always be on the comment section so that we continue to discuss what we have been doing because this will help us to it will help us to keep on moving forward so that uh, we can uh, move far in this journey and I will I most appreciate all of you for always uh, coming by to watch us I must say that all uh, all of you are terrific and uh, you have been the backbone of this uh, channel and uh, I must say that congratulations to all of you so we are marching I think uh, this is the street blogging sorry about the noise because uh, we also carrying luggage and uh, you can see I, I have a luggage here with me and uh, we are keep on moving and bringing you innovative ways educative and uh, we are also entertaining so Anambra said it's one of the earliest states in Nigeria, in the eastern Nigeria, and um, he has actually suffered uh, infrastructural decay and infrastructural backwardness, especially laws, because of uh, past government inactions or not having a, a greater vision of uh, changing the narrative. But in this uh, time of uh, Professor Charles Chuku Masoludo, so we are of the opinion that he will need to, you know, roll back the, the past um, mistakes by totally looking at constructing most of the city roads which will eventually take the state to a developed uh, state completely developed state or 21st century state and bring a lot of economic advantages against his peers other states in Nigeria so, and you don't need to have all the money to do these things. You just need to be creative, you need to be innovative, and you need to be very, very articulative, and you will accomplish a lot. And in this channel, we have been hammering it that the government in our homeland are not actually performing more than 
The reason we are saying this thing is the government is not about going to Abuja, getting the little money from there, or just the little internally generated revenue. No. Or just getting them and using them for one or two rows. But the government is about being very, very innovative and being inventive and being able to do more with little and also being able to you know be ahead of the future so and there is no way you can develop Anambra State or the economy of Anambra State can develop without these vital uh, vital uh, logistic uh, infrastructure like roads I'm not even talking about railway because the railway they've been planning it for the past two years and going to three years and nothing has come of it in the other video we also give them an idea about how they can use another alternative one to just uh, to start up the whole thing and get it up and running within six months so that's what we are here for and that's why our passion in this channel is basically to pull ourselves from this altar backwardness into into economic prosperity and thereby making our homeland a final destination not a departure launch as Chukuma Soludo normally say remember this is a street vlogging if you are hearing more noise it is happening in the streets the roads it's also windy today you can see that uh, hitting my eyes and also and um, the bears are also singing their usual hymns and uh, the car and a lot of things people talking and others so we keep on marching because that's what we have promised to do and we are continuously doing and I do believe that you will see our effort and keep on sharing sharing our videos and doing this will also help us so what ways do you think we can bridge this uh, gap in infrastructure what ways do you think this can be bridged because if we continue building two or three rows and clapping for ourselves it will take us over 100 years even to scratch the ground so now what we need to do is just to arrest the future by being innovative we can do that by raising bonds looking at the most of the major roads in the city and the raised bonds that will cover it and and by raising this bond this can be a 10 years or 15 year bond and we can also partner with the landlords association and tenants groups market women industrialists so now, now map out all these roads i have a plan to build 90 or 99 percent of these roads within a year or two years this can be done and this can save us a lot of stress and a lot of money and thinking about the inflation that keep on galloping in Nigeria because of government incompetence and corruption. And um, this can also bring about massive production in Nigeria. It can bring about uh, so much uh, jobs in Anambra State. Think about that when non-nature roads are being built, you have so many people being engaged permanently be or temporarily being engaged and they will be getting their three square mail from all these things and think about that this can actually grow the gdp and it can also grow the internally generated revenue and the businesses will start to um, harvest this uh, uh, infrastructural uh, development because suddenly these um, 
the streets that are go no go areas will start to have people going through there and the businesses will start working again am i also talking about security security also will be improved because bad roads and bad infrastructure create joblessness jobless youths and it also create avenue for hot loans to wele people and also create corruption by the police because the police now use those uh, bad roads to be mounting illegal roadblocks, illegal checkpoints, harassing the people and taking bribes from them. And this will also help the ease of doing business. So this is what we are here for, to bring about ways that can change the narrative and also change things and make life better for our people. I, I do believe that the people in the uh, Anambra state government are also watching us. They need to be proactive because waiting to build the uh, roads in 20 years is not cost effective. It doesn't help the economy and it also will be very, very expensive. If we start to do it now and uh, arrest, we are going to arrest the future future inflations, future cost of uh, trying to demolish uh, houses in order to expand roads. But if we start to do it now, do it by raising bonds, those bonds can come in many ways. It can come by borrowing on existing properties, existing pl plots of lands of the people, which they can also only pay 2% interest on the loans to build their street roads. That means there will be partnership, greater partnership with the people of the state that they will need to be on, on agreement with the government that we don't want on third rules anywhere again in all the cities in Anambra State. And any governor that has this passion will see our people rising in union or in agreement with that government. Because people want good things. They don't want their cars keep on going to the mechanics every day. They don't want to be living in a street that is full of, uh, uh, you know, dusty situation that creates um, unfavorable health conditions. So I want to um, stop here because I don't want this video to be so long. Remember to like, uh, comment, share, and subscribe. I am still called the NYE, the son of the wonderful. See you in the next one, and God bless you. Bye.